Hey guys, in this video we have some work from home jobs that are great for beginners hiring right now. And these jobs of course are jobs that come and go. So that's why I decided to do another update a few weeks after the last one. And some of these jobs you may have seen before, a lot of these you probably haven't. So the first one is at basically Intuit. Intuit is like the parent company of TurboTax, Credit Karma, QuickBooks, and MailChimp. They actually have a digital sales consultant inbound for MailChimp available right now. And for this job, you're going to be joining the sales team and the qualifications for this job. Now, another thing I need to explain, of course, is when a company says no experience required, most of the time they still would prefer some experience. But that being said, that just means they're a little more flexible on whether or not you have it. So with that being said, this job here, they tell you preferred but not required for one to two years prior relevant experience. They want you to be someone with strong written and interpersonal communication skills. They want you to have high energy, be outgoing and capable of receiving and making a high volume of phone calls and emails, metrics driven to achieve assigned goals, strong organizational skills and the work at hand, ability to work under general supervision and attention to detail, follow through and accountability. Responsibilities for this job, monitor inbound and or outbound channels, which could be phone, email, and chat, and proactively respond to leads. You'll also own discovery conversations with prospective customers, dissect and qualify prospects' business goals to determine if MailChimp can be strategic investment for their business growth, accurately capture customer information, including addresses and phone numbers, for follow-up, influence decisions to achieve win-win outcomes, translate MailChimp's features into benefits for the customer. You'll also use pre-built formulaic solutions and recommendations based on customer goals and objectives, including recommending best billing plans. You'll offer competitive insights as to why MailChimp is or is not a good fit for each prospective customer's needs. You'll maintain up-to-date knowledge on the market and competitive landscape. You'll explain the terms of use in plain language and meet and exceed defined revenue, productivity, and quality metrics. So here, as far as pay, you can make up to $38.36, maybe even as much as $38.59 per hour, depending on where you live. It's gonna depend on your location. They only give you estimates for certain states that basically require you to do that. Now they do have a benefits page, which is one that does have a few things on here. Now you can click learn more on each one of these. Uh, but I'm just going to kind of cover the basics here of what they actually offer. They do offer a few things like, you know, health and well-being benefits. They also have family planning, planning, uh, elder care, and other things along those lines. They do have mental health for life uh, related benefits here. They have economic benefits like a 401k retirement plan with matching contributions and a stock purchase plan. And they also have plenty of paid days off as well. And you also get a paid day off on your birthday, for instance, as well as holidays and you know sick time and all of that. As far as Woods likes to work at Intuit, they have a lot of reviews. They have 4.4 out of five stars, 90% recommend working here to a friend. Benefit wise for Intuit, they have a 4.6 out of five star rating for their benefits, which is also very good. Interview wise at Intuit, they have a three out of five difficulty rating, which I'd say is pretty normal. And then experience 59% positive, 25% negative. So very good in terms of positive versus negative experiences interviewing here. So really no, no red flags or anything that I can tell. Next, we have a company called Pearson. They are hiring for a call center assistant in the United States. They basically say they're committed to a world that's always learning and to the talented team who makes it all possible from bringing lectures vividly to life to turning textbooks into laptop lessons. They're always re-examining the way people learn best, whether it's one child in your own backyard or an education community across the globe. So they're like an education services company. And education skills and knowledge for this job include high school diploma or equivalent, must possess excellent customer service skills, call center experience is preferred. Now, customer service skills doesn't necessarily mean experience. You know, a lot of times that has to do with phone etiquette, grammar, stuff like that. A very friendly and helpful attitude. You can 
have the ability to manage simultaneous tasks. So you're a good multitasker, in other words. A way to work as a member of a team is required. You must have excellent oral and written communication skills, excellent attendance, experience working with a PC in a Windows environment, experience working with Mac is preferred but not required. So, I mean, if you are completely computer illiterate, they might not want you, but otherwise you should be fine. Basic purpose and objectives, you'll provide exceptional inbound and outbound general and technical support to internal customers by demonstrating a friendly and helpful attitude, promptness, attentiveness, and a focus on resolving issues efficiently on the first contact. Organizational relationships, reports to and direct direction received from scoring support shift supervisors and scoring support manager. And then they mention your responsibilities here below that. You'll basically work certain shifts that are like 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. Monday through Friday or 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. on Saturday and Sunday. May be required to work a rotating shift schedule and weekends. So that means you trade off with other people working weekends sometimes. Responsible for providing accurate answers to internal customer questions or concerns in a courteous, efficient, and customer service focused manner via phone, email, or chat. Responsible for diagnosis and complete resolution of technical issues in a courteous, efficient, and customer service focused manner via phone, email, or chat using documented solutions. Responsible for calling remote employees in an efficient, courteous, and supportive manner. Serve as an escalation point as needed to the appropriate department for resolution. Responsible for independent and timely resolution of routine issues and for notifying management of non-routine issues that need immediate attention. You'll also provide complete documentation of issues handled. Responsible for staying current on issues that impact the internal customers and competent by continually referring to and utilizing support resources and perform other related duties as assigned. So working conditions, office environment, remote work, and hours may vary or change depending upon the needs of the business. They don't seem to tell you the pay on here and they don't really mention, from what I can tell, a lot about benefits here. But as far as what's like to work at Pearson, they have 8.3 thousand reviews, 3.7 out of five stars, 71% recommend working here to a friend. Benefit wise, they have a four out of five star rating. Interview wise, 2.8 out of five difficulty and a lot more people had a positive experience than negative interviewing here as well, which is obviously a good sign. Typically, a call center assistant averages around $42,000 a year. Next, we have a company called Aweber. They are still hiring for second shift entry-level customer solution specialist, and this is available for people in the United States. So they may have more than one opening here. That's probably why this has been available, but this is a 90 day contract to hire opportunity. So I believe you start out as a contractor and then it becomes full time after that if you work out with the company. So there, this is an email marketing services company. They're looking for an exceptional communicator who loves building and nurturing relationships that enhance the lives of each creator and small business owner that makes up the community of amazing Aweber customers by helping people understand how Aweber's features can meet each of their unique being unique needs, you will positively impact the lives of both seasoned marketers and those folks just beginning their marketing journey. So then they talk about the shift here. They'll have different ones for different shifts depending on when you check this website. But right now, I think this is the only shift they have available for this job, which is kind of like an afternoon to evening shift. It's about 1 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you will offer support over multiple channels, including live chat, email, phone, and social media through troubleshooting, providing product education, and relaying marketing best practices. You'll be partnering with customers so that they can successfully grow their businesses. Additionally, you'll find yourself working on special projects and collaborating with fellow team members across the company with the ultimate goal of improving the customer experience. To thrive as a CS specialist, you will take initiative and partner with customers by proactively educating on best practices, bubbling up suggestions for new product features, advocating for process enhancements. Any knowledge of marketing technologies such as social media, landing pages, or email platforms will re really make you stand out. You're also a leader who inspires others by passion and investment in customer success. So they want you to be interested in, you know, joining an award-winning team, positively impacting others, and, you know, maybe even small business and things like that. So as far as the benefits you get here, they, they are a 100% remote company. They're not going back to the office. They give you like an explanation of why. Strong culture, and they also tell you more detailed things like 100% company paid PPO, medical, dental, and vision, four to seven weeks of paid time off and holidays, four-week paid sabbatical, 401k retirement plan with 4% company match, 
company profit share, home office equipment and internet stipend, tuition reimbursement conferences and learning opportunities, gym memberships reimbursement, company paid short-term disability insurance, company paid life insurance, and additional supplemental benefits. So they seem to take very good care of you here at AWeber. Now, as far as reviews, 3.8 out of 5 stars, 71% recommend working here to a friend, which I would say is pretty good. Benefit-wise, they have a 4.4 out of 5 star rating, which is exceptional. Interview-wise, 3 out of 5 difficulty, fairly average. And the positive to negative uh, ratio here is more positive than negative, which is great. And I'd say it's a fairly even distribution um, that most companies are pretty close to. Now, as far as a customer solution specialist, they can average, if you look at hourly pay here, around $31 per hour because you take the sum of base and additional income here. Next, we have a company called Curate. This is a job where you will start in February, so you want to apply for this as soon as you can. And it's a customer service specialist. Curate is part of the QVC, uh, or I guess QVC is a part of Curate, I should say. Curate Retail Group owns QVC, HSN, and many other uh, retail companies you may have heard of. You've probably seen like their infomercials and stuff before for especially HSN or QVC. But if you look here, you have a few different locations. So they have a, a group of locations here. If you're in one of these locations in one of these states, you should be able to apply for this. Now, for this job, you will answer inbound customer calls. You'll be working at home and you will assist customers by problem solving and de-escalating uh, unique situations while sustaining a high-paced call volume. So what you're going to do is be busy all day handling a high volume of customer inquiries. You'll be personalizing the experience for each caller. You'll answer incoming calls like confirming refunds, taking payments, placing orders, analyzing account data. Opportunity for advancement across the entire Curate network. You'll report on to an assigned supervisor and you'll work a set schedule. So this starts at $15 per hour, automatic, automatically increases in pay every six months for two years. And then they also have pay for performance incentive paid out monthly to eligible team members. So you could earn actually more than that and you could get a raise every six months, which is pretty good. And then basically you will learn and work in a virtual environment, communicate with a variety of styles, navigate multiple systems and screens, follow QVC computer system requirements, troubleshoot own technical problems, available to work weekends, holidays, and additional hours as required. And again, they tell you the different states that they are wanting you to be a resident of, you know, at least one of these. So system requirements here, self-provided computer or laptop. They typically want you to use Microsoft operating systems not older than three years, headset compatible with QVC specifications, high-speed internet connection, and they don't want you to use anything like satellite, broadband, wireless, mobile, or dial-up services. Mac or Apple products, Chromebooks, services, and notebooks are not supported. So you need to have Windows specifically, it looks like. And then they'll just kind of explain the interview process. But as far as what it's like to work here, they have a 3.6 out of five star rating, 74% recommend working here to a friend. For benefits at Curate Retail Group, they have a 3.5 out of 5 star overall rating, which isn't bad. 2.4 out of 5 difficulty is not bad either. They have a 50% positive, 46% negative uh, breakdown for the experience interviewing here. And salary-wise, as a customer service specialist, you could expect, well, they've already been over that. It's $15 an hour plus raises. Next, we have a company called 15.5. They are still hiring for a U.S.-based sales development rep. This is going to be one of the higher paying jobs on the list as well. And for this job, you are basically going to be doing volume sales. But they are supposed to train you on everything you need to know before you start. They have like a graduation program, like they call it 15.5 University Onboarding. So you go through a training system basically, and then they kind of work your way up to a way to being basically ready to do whatever you need to do on a daily basis with no one helping you. So they train you for basically from day one, and you don't really have to have experience to apply here. So. You do jumpstart 15.5 University onboarding in the first 45 days. You're supposed to, you know, what they call graduate. And once you've done that, then you kind of go to the outcome two section. You'll achieve 12 first calls completed, discovery calls set and run, consistently maintain or exceed an average of 80 calls and emails per working day, book at least 16 discovery calls per month with qualified prospects and or expansion customers, 
and ensure the meetings run. You'll work with SDR leadership team to define qualified pipeline goals, and you need a qualification rate of 75% or better. And then competencies, responsible team player, you consistently meet your quota or KPIs. You show up on time for meetings. You watch recordings of any missed meetings and things like that. You basically just meet whatever goals they set for you. Strategic, you need to also be a strategic self-starter. So they'll basically describe that. There's no reason for me to read every single one of these. Pursuit of relational mastery. They want you to be a good communicator and basically um, you know, do your part. Consistently stay above the line. Assume positive intent. Be persuasive. Learning never sleeps. They want you to always be improving and doing training. A lot of sales jobs, they have you like doing continuous training even after you are, you know, kind of past the initial training uh, period. They might have you do different types of sales stuff all the time, like videos, and you take a little quiz. Uh, desired experience sells software as a service sales experience is helpful, but not required. Demonstrate leadership and high performance in life, which could be school, prior work, volunteer work, team, club, etc. So if you've shown any achievement at all in pretty much any aspect of your life, that seems to be good enough for them. A sample week in the life, again, you're doing basically volume-based sales. So on Monday and Friday, you'll usually have some sort of meetings. You might have some team training on Tuesday. The rest of the time, you're going to be basically prospecting, calling, doing emails, and qualification calls. That's essentially the job. So benefits here, full medical, dental, and vision, flexible time off, employer paid short-term, long-term disability, and term life, 401k with 4% match at six months of employment, inclusive benefits stipend, up to 16 weeks paid parental leave, 12 paid holidays in 2024, talk space, wellness coach app, best time, best self time, uh, two hours of time off Friday dedicated to personal growth, monthly reimbursement for internet, sabbatical program accessed at four or five, or seven years, and they also provide extensive training and development such as strengths, discovery, and alignment, and manager-specific development opportunities. So they tell you at the very bottom here, it's very easy to skip this part, so make sure you look at every section here, but they want you to make around 42500 in base pay, plus bonuses or commissions, plus equity, plus benefits target for commission specifically is 25,000 uncapped. It can go over that in other words. So you're looking at a total of around 70,000 a year if you add everything together most likely. Now as far as what's like to work at 15.5, they have 176 reviews, 3.6 out of 5 stars, 52% recommend working here to a friend. Benefit wise, 4.6 out of 5 stars, very good. Interview wise, 15.5 has a 3 out of 5 difficulty which is fairly normal for most companies. And the vast majority of people who interviewed here had a positive experience, so that's a good sign as well. We also have a job that uh, was posted fairly recently. I think I might have already covered this before, but it's still available. It's a fraud and identity specialist contract position at Instacart, which of course you may know of as kind of a gig economy company that makes it where people can um, have their groceries delivered and then you're basically paying somebody to do that for you kind of like an Uber for grocery shopping in a way. So with this job, it will include a blend of areas from reviewing transactions in real time to prevent fraud, identifying fraudulent activities and patterns, account takeovers, and handling internal escalations to provide services through Instacart platform and much more. This is a six month contracted position which expect, with expectations to work 40 hours a week. So. You will identify fraud patterns and conduct investigations to deter fraudulent and suspicious activities. You'll maintain a queue of inbound customer appeals with time management and prioritization skills. You also recognize and present opportunities to improve and drive tasks to full resolution. You'll also complete live and historical data reviews with a detail-oriented approach, and you'll execute on repetitive operational tasks while maintaining attention to detail and having an eye for process improvements. Minimum qualifications, one, two plus years of professional experience, ideally in a fast paced setting in fraud, data processing or support related fields, or, or you can have a strong academic record. They don't necessarily even say you have to have a degree. So I'm not sure exactly to what extent a strong academic record would mean, but if you have a strong academic rec record, maybe even if you don't have a a bachelor's degree, even if you have like an associate's degree, or you've just shown that you got really good grades, 
uh, maybe that's good enough for this job because they tell you you can have you know the one to two years experience or that a uh, strong verbal and written communication skills positive attitude and fortitude to work through ever-changing and dynamic operational conditions ability to make critical and sensitive issues quickly um, in a fast-paced environment operate within a high degree of confidentiality and weekends or holiday availability preferred qualifications familiarity with zendesk or similar is preferred proficient in excel or google sheets and understanding of the gig economy now they tell you right here this job pretty much across the board no matter where you live pays around 23 dollars per hour as far as what it's like to work at instacart as far as reviews instacart has a 3.6 out of 5 difficulty or overall rating i should say 66 percent recommend working here to a friend i'd say that's pretty standard and they have a 2.4 out of 5 benefit rating which isn't the greatest uh interview wise they have a 2.4 out of 5 difficulty which is good that's easy um, and then they have more people having a positive experience than negative with the interview process so that's also good last but not least we have nova 401k associates they have a plan termination specialist and as you can probably guess, you're working for a company that specializes in 401k plans, retirement, and stuff like that. And they tell you that, you know, are you excellent at communicating over the phone, on video, and via email? And are you results oriented? That's kind of what they're looking for. This is a fully remote position, 37.5 hours uh, per week with competitive benefits package. And for this job, what you're going to do after the paid training period is You'll be doing development of a working knowledge of qualified retirement plan termination procedures. You'll answer questions over the phone and via email. Work with clients who are terminating their 401k. Coordinate with retirement partners to ensure a smooth and timely plan termination and perform other related duties as required. Qualifications. They do want you to have a bachelor's degree, but other than that, they don't seem to require experience. They just say, you know, self-motivated, good communicator and all that stuff. They say prior customer service experience is a plus. You also need to be coachable, which tells me they're going to, you know, train you a lot. And you're comfortable with communicating with clients and advisors in a variety of media. So they're going to just say calls, email, conference calls, meetings, etc. And then you get paid fifty to sixty thousand per year, depending on experience, education, and skills. Uh, medical, dental, vis disability, and life insurance, short-term and long-term disability insurance. 401k with employer match and 14 days of paid time off. Other information, start day as soon as possible and bi-weekly pay cycle. Now, as far as what it's like to work at Nova 401k Associates, review-wise, they have a 3.3 out of 5 star rating. 51% recommend working here to a friend. 3.4 out of 5 stars as far as the benefits. Interview-wise, they have a 2.7 out of 5 difficulty rating and a lot more people had positive than negative experience interviewing here, which is also good. So as far as the best no experience work from home jobs that are available right now, these are some of the best ones I could find that are actually still available. Hopefully this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell if you want more daily work from home opportunities like these. And don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed this type of content. If you thought this is the type of stuff you're looking for and you want more of these types of jobs posted in the future. And don't forget to leave a comment if you want to ask me a question or you're looking for me to cover something in the future. Let me know what those things are in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.